Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today you're blocked. <laughs> That's a channel name, Eden. Come on. I just welcome back sushi. to the Year Block motherfucking channel, guys. It's Eden. And this is did Simona. you say hey guys? Hey guys. You did? I don't know. Take four. Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. channel, the Year Block channel. I, hi, I'm Eden. Hi, I'm Simona. Hi. These formal intros kill me. I know. I feel like I need to like extend my hand and be like, hi, I'm Hi, Simona. nice to meet you. Meet you. Yeah. You, you know me, you. bitch. You know me, bitch. <laughs> you get the real, raw, authentic. You don't get the fake shit. You don't get the fake shit, like the talking stage, okay? Did you see that segue? Wow, that was good. Wow. You're blocked with, with Ian Middleman, Middleman and Simona Catalano. If you didn't again. know, we're talking about the talking stage. We're talking about what the, the talking stage. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It's and actually canceled. We're canceling it. Cancel culture. What's up? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> we're canceling the talking stage. What are we doing? Like, like, what's up? That is the question of the talking stage. It's like, what the fuck? I, I was literally asking like, someone. I literally else. just took it like, anyways. What? My sushi was it's just all over. Like, yeah. I love that. It's like, what the fuck? I, I was literally. I love that too. Anyways, like, sorry. Do you want to like... No, we're That's good. We're good. We okay. can like continue. I was literally like to Simona before we started this video. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <What's> she? <laughs> we're so good now. Are you sure we're so good? Because we were so good two seconds ago and now we're not so good. Mm, yeah, get them. Good. Get them the molars from the molars. Mm, mm. We're good. Okay, perfect. I was like, what the fuck is actually talking stage? I remember yeah, talking stage. Because Eden's just always in relationships and <laughs> I'm always in the talking stage. Stuck in the talking stage forever in the fucking talking stage. So like just to dumb it down, the talking stage is basically when you're literally just talking and you don't know what you are, but you're investing enough time for it to possibly for question yeah, marks. Yeah, yeah. Question marks it's, to just it's constantly literally, be it's brought question up. Mark city is what question the mark city. Question mark city. It's question mark city and we're not doing it. It's we're like not you think doing you're it. vibing, but then and yeah, and he's like, oh, nothing whoa, happens. whoa, we're, we're not like that. Whoa. It's like, bro, but my toothbrush is here and I've slept over for the whole week. So yeah, like, what? Like, like, let me know what's good. Like, like literally let me know what's good. Oh, it's so awkward because when you're like casually dating or just like starting to date, obviously that stage is referred to as the talking stage. It kind of progresses slowly and you're in this space where it's like, we talk every day. I see him. We're hanging out. Maybe we're fucking but it's like it's pretty consistent the top pretty consistent yeah. and it's like we're kind of in limbo we're kind of in limbo i was and, just gonna say that and now it's awkward because i don't know if i should ask you what's going on so that way i'm clear like are you still talking to other people should i be should i not be like I, where are we at it's right. so vague and confusing and I find that oftentimes when you're like, kind of just ask that question, they're like, whoa. Oh my God, like relax. Like, whoa. And I'm like, Bradley for fuck's sake. Bradley! Bradley. Oh, really? I know. Yeah, because like Brad and Chad, and oh I thought like Bradley was great. Is Bradley's the long version of Brad? Yeah. He's actually a Bradley, so when you're Actually, that's him, cute. Yell at him. Bradley! Bradley Johnson Jr. Senior. We are the second. Gonna be great mothers. <laughs> great mothers. I feel like it's a constant state of being in that limbo. Yeah. And it's such a motherfucking, in my opinion, waste of fucking time. It is. It's like, it's like, listen, honey. Are you just going to tell me what it is or are you not? Are we just fucking or are we not? Can we stop pretending like we're more than that? And that's the problem with the talking stages. Y'all are acting like you're motherfucking in relationships or you're about to get married and you're introducing each other to the motherfucking family, but then you're like, oh no. Sorry, Stacey. Yeah. It's, no labels. It's like, like what? The talking stage is where you want to, or it can be where you are reaping a lot of the benefits of a relationship from that person, but you don't want the label stating what it is like you said and what the fuck it is not mm -hmm. from the get-go and what you're looking for like hey like let's just see where this goes and like keeping each other in the loop while we're doing it the reason why the talking stage is a problem is because girls feel like oh i'm not gonna ask him i'm just gonna i'm gonna play along i'm gonna go along with yeah. it yeah I'm, I'm so cool yeah. bitch i've been the cool girl mm -hmm. doesn't fucking work for you mm -hmm. okay that's why you always end up in this like weird limbo state where you're like i like you and it's like a thing but I don't know where your head's at because I know it's like probably not a thing and like it hasn't been addressed. So like don't get yourself in that predicament as a girl. And I feel like as a guy, just be like, listen, I'm just on this dating app for like shits and giggles. Like, you know, I just, I want a good time. Exactly. And then she could be like, cool. It's I'm a good time or I'm not a good time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm 
a shitty fucking time, okay? Let's see right I think it's also, yeah, but like touching base with yourself and with the other person and being attentive. Like, especially if you're in the talking stage and you guys don't know each other that well, let's say, and it's like really the beginning and you don't want to get into that like toxic cycle of being like, oh my God, like things, I feel like things are progressing and then they're not. And then you realize like you're still stuck in this fucking talking yeah, stage. Yeah, it's, it's I, very awkward. It is very awkward. And I think it's really important to then keep tabs, be like, okay, you know what? Like this, this is kind of like what, uh, what I think would work for me. It's more so like being like, okay, are we doing something that's too boyfriend girlfriendy for me? And then if we are, and I'm not ready to have that conversation, which is fine. Sometimes you're not ready, or I don't even want to be more than just this, whatever the fuck we are. Then I reel it back in, and I I will cancel on that date, or I will be like, yeah, you know what? Let's just like do Netflix and chill, or like I'll just make it very known by yeah. saying things like so, that. Yeah, you're saying things, and you're also doing things that are like casual. Yes, right. Keeping when things it becomes, in check. Yes, when it becomes too consistent and too much. Yes, that's where things get the lines get blurred and you're like okay wait what does this mean am i reading too much into this does this mean he likes me the longer you spend time with somebody the more you learn about them and you become attached and you grow with them and then it's inevitable basically what happens is you naturally end up becoming closer of and course. then more comfortable and that's the key when you start to get comfortable it's like boyfriend girlfriend territory almost you know what i mean it's like what does this mean territory? I'm talking to a guy and he says he wants to fly out to me. Bro, we just started talking. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that fucking mean? Because to you, that's very serious. Right? That's I mean, very serious. serious. And I feel like also in the talking stage, this is a tactic that guys use and they need to learn to not fucking use it in order to pull girls. It's emotional manipulation. It is. And that's why the talking stage is confusing because you're saying shit in the talking stage that is very serious because you want to beg her or you want to attract her or pull her in or have her like you. Because you think that's what she wants. Exactly. Yes. And you're saying shit that you don't actually fucking mean. Like, make it make sense. Make sir. it make sense, make right? It, you don't want to be a fucking liar. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be a fucking... Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even if that's your tactic, it's worked for you for so many years, all this shit. You're a manipulator, so... Not like, only are you a manipulator, but do you understand? And you're always like, oh, girls are crazy. I wonder why. Because you it blows up in your fucking face. Because you're manipulating girls, making them believe one thing, showing up as if you are that thing. And then what happens? Boom. You pull the rug right under their feet. And then, look. And then they're obviously going to be upset. We took the fucking mask off. Bitch. Honestly. Mask off. So, fucking mask off. Mask so on. Fuck it, mask off. Mask off. Fuck it, mask off. Hey, we're not saying there's anything wrong with you wanting to play around the talking stage if the other person is reciprocating and wants to do the same. Yeah, as long Make as, it be known. As long as everybody knows what, what it is and what it's not. As long as you're playing the same game. Right? He's not playing Monopoly and you're playing fucking Uno. Like, make sure it makes Ooh. sense, okay? Healthy check-ins with yourself after every date or after every hangout is yeah. important. And that way you can understand where you're at and what you want from this connection. Hopefully it's a connection and not an attachment. Um, or else go watch our video if you don't know. Attachment versus connection over here, guys. And and then check in with him and just be like, hey. Yeah, having those markers, right? Being like, okay, like, is this boyfriend girlfriend e? Is this too much? Exactly. Should I be inviting him to my birthday as my plus one? Probably exactly. not. Exactly. Exactly. Let's let's look at those markers. Let's really be careful. Be mindful of what you do. Nothing is a walk in the park. I know you guys think the talking stage is easy and you don't owe anybody responsibility or accountability or the respect. The talking stage is so stressful. It's my, so stressful. My digestive issues <laughs> hit the through the roof. They literally through the roof. Yeah. And they're brutal on a day to day. Like, Lactose intolerant, hundred percent. Oh my god! Yeah. Like shitting my pants on the day. Yes, true. I don't want that stress anymore. So it I'm just stressful. letting everybody know if you're not trying to beg me, it's gonna forget be, about it's me. It's a no talking stage zone. <laughs> yeah. That's what those it is. I can't do it anymore. Also, Jeff Wittick, like baby, what the fuck is good? What is? We've up? been waiting. We literally have, and like I saw your post. You're ready to be a dad. I'm ready to be a mom. Let's do it. It's a perfect match. You ready to be a mom? Uh, yeah, like not right now, not at this present moment, but like eventually. So like. Oh my god, this is like huge, guys. It's not. I'm down to have a good time. I'm down to have a good time and have fun. I thought I'd like, get in the mix. And like, you know, yeah, like maybe. Yeah. I just, listen, I know you're serious because of the post is what I'm saying. Okay. I'm like, I'm a more serious kind of vibe. So like, <laughs> I love how this is just up. taped into me. <laughs> Literally like, it is. I can have fun, but I'm also really serious if you want to get <laughs> Just let me know what's good and I'm flexible. Yo, I literally see. go either way. Like, we're good. I go both ways, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Did I hurt you? Yeah.
You did it. Is that painful? No, not okay. at all. I that hurt me. hurt way more. <laughs> like my heart. <laughs> taking a lot of hurt. I'm taking a lot. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, comment like, like, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> also, tag Jeff. Let him know. Come on, guys. Get us to LA. Like, that's the motto here. Also, leave us a comment. We didn't yeah. forget. We want you to leave a comment. We want you to let us know. What was this episode? <laughs> Let us know the talking stages you've been through. Give us a little story time. Maybe we'll air it on it's our a podcast. Safe, it's a safe you space. You never know. It's a safe space. It's a safe space because you already know. And we'll see you, you back. You, you already know. Y'all already know. Hit the fucking bell for the notifications. And don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, guys. We have so much coming follow, for you. Follow, follow, follow. Coming like, for you, like. For you. Turn the post notifications on. Go to the Tickety Talk. Go to the YouTube. Go everywhere. <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a robot yeah. sound Ooh. at the end. Ooh.